Most celebs can't get enough media attention, but flamboyant fitness guru Richard Simmons has kept such a low profile in recent years that his lack of publicity has actually stirred up the press, especially after the runaway success of the hit podcast Missing Richard Simmons. But are the bizarre rumors that he was being held hostage in his own house even remotely true? Here's a look at what's really going on with Richard Simmons. That podcast. Former Daily Show producer Dan Taberski says he became concerned when he learned that Simmons, a personal idol, had vanished from public sight and stopped returning calls from even close friends back in 2014. So naturally, he launched a podcast to investigate what happened to Simmons. While some have accused Taberski of exploiting Simmons, the podcaster claims he's doing it all in an effort to help Simmons and his fans. We can tell Richard Simmons that he's loved and respected and we think he's important and hopefully by getting out there um, and, and doing this that, that he'll see that and hopefully talk to me and, and, and let everybody know that he's okay. Hostage crisis. According to DMZ, officers from the Los Angeles Police Department visited Simmons in January 2015 to conduct a welfare check. A longtime friend had emailed the LA County District Attorney's Elder Abuse Unit with concerns that Simmons was being held against his will. The police found no merit to the claim and added that Simmons couldn't have been nicer and more gracious. He was articulate, lucid, relaxed, and appreciative of their concern. But reports that Simmons was a prisoner in his own home resurfaced in March 2016 when the New York Daily News published a shocking story. In it, Simmons' friend said they feared he was being held against his will inside his Hollywood Hills mansion by his longtime housekeeper, Teresa Raveles. That story was also quickly shot down by Simmons himself. The fitness legend personally called into the Today Show, telling them that Ravellis has been with me for 30 years. It's almost like we're a married couple. No one is holding me in my house as a hostage. You know, I do what I want to do, as I've always done. He's enjoying some me time. Simmons told Entertainment Tonight that his mysterious disappearance wasn't so mysterious at all, as he simply needed to focus on himself while recovering from knee replacement surgery. I love all the people who worry about me, but it was time for me to take some time to be by myself. For the last 40 years, I have been traveling, teaching classes, and I had a knee injury, so I had a knee replacement, which was very difficult for me. I have really just been taking it easy, staying at home, working out in my gym, and doing the things I haven't done in a very long time. Time. I just want everyone to know that I love them very much, but it's time right now for Richard Simmons to take care of Richard Simmons. In other words, leave the guy alone hiding in plain sight. Since Simmons hasn't been seen in public or spoken directly to the press in three years, many suspected he had become a shut-in, never leaving his house. But it turns out he's been hiding in plain sight. According to TMZ, Simmons has regularly been out and about without being recognized simply by using a cane and wearing a hat and street clothes, instead of sporting his signature afro and tank top. Clark Kent's glasses suddenly seem like a much more plausible disguise. He was hospitalized twice. In June 2016, fans went into a panic when TMZ reported that Simmons had been hospitalized for bizarre conduct. Sources said the 67-year-old star was acting in an unusually strange manner just before midnight when someone at his Hollywood Hills home became sufficiently alarmed to call 911. Simmons released a statement chalking the whole thing up to simple dehydration. I was dehydrated and needed some fluids and now I am feeling great. Summer is here. Drink plenty of liquids. Big hugs and kisses for caring. After being hospitalized again in April 2017 for indigestion, Simmons' spokesman Michael Catalano issued a statement saying that Simmons was already feeling better and is expected to make a full recovery. He finally addressed his fans. The day after Catalano spoke to the press about Simmons' most recent medical woes, Simmons himself made a surprise reappearance on social media to assure fans that he is totally fine and that they probably shouldn't believe everything they hear in a podcast. He wrote in a lengthy Facebook post, Aren't you sick of hearing and reading about me? Well, by now you know that I'm not missing, just a little under the weather. I'm sure I will be feeling good and back home in a couple of days. This has reminded me that when you need help, you can't be afraid to reach out and ask for it. We all think we should always be able to solve our problems all by ourselves and sometimes it's just bigger than we are. I reached out and hope you will too. I'm sure there are people in your life who love and care for you and would do anything to help you with the challenges you face. Just knowing you care has already made me feel better. Hope to see you again soon. Love, Richard. We hope to see you again soon too, Richard. Thanks for watching. Click the Nikki Swift icon to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Plus, check out all this cool stuff we know you'll love too.